Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Miss Play. Thank you so much guys for always coming back to watch my videos and and to the returning subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. And today I'm coming live at Nyabuanse village and I'm having a friend here. Let her introduce herself. Mati. Yay! I am here guys. I'm here guys. Thank you for hosting me in your channel. Yes, you're friend. welcome. You're welcome. How come we've never done a video with you? <laughs> <laughs> we had already done a video. You remember yeah, yeah, that yeah. video that we we were cooking at Nasso's place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is my sister from Yabuhans and these are the people who are showing me love guys oh. and I'm loving that you guys are supporting her. The previous video guys you're showing love and thank you so much continue uploading more yeah i'm 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 trying i'm trying to keep up with the with the pace so that i every day i'll, I'll be giving you new videos yeah yeah mm -hmm. so sorry girl i am leaving tomorrow oh can you imagine i'm leaving tomorrow should, should have stayed even for for christmas Guys, what do you think? <laughs> she, she she should have stayed for Christmas. We celebrate together. Yeah, guys. Uh, I've been here for almost a month, on and off, on and off. You know, I come from Kenya. My home is in Eldoret. My parents are coming from Eldoret, so I came to Nyabuhanse for content creation and also supporting my brother, my oh. travel commando, Aymara. Uh, yeah, I was one of his committee members, so I came to help. And I found these lovely people that I loved, <laughs> that I fell in love with. Yeah. So, guys, continue supporting her content. She is equally new. Kindly, kindly. If you're watching this from my wall, kindly subscribe to her channel and tell her Mercy Empire sent you there because I'm going to share you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm leaving tomorrow. But I'll be back. You guys told me this is my second home. Yeah, yeah, this is your second home, actually. Yeah. You are always welcome. Yeah. Anytime, yeah. any day, whenever you want, you can just come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A phone call away, I just call. Hello, <laughs> Miss Flay. I'm on the highway. I'm coming. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been in Eldoret? Oh, no. I've never been to that place. Mm -hmm. Sincerely speaking, yeah. Yeah. Would you want to be in Eldoret? I would love to. Actually, I'd love to. Maybe Let's... one day you should host me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm welcoming you to Eldoret officially. Uh, I know when I come from Eldoret, that will be like four days from now. Because I'm going to pick some things for Noah's boat. My parents offered three bags of meat. Oh, wow. So, that's nice. And they are not at home. So I'm just going home pick them, come like this, drop them as I'm heading back on duty in Kampala. In and also, yeah, also I want you to come and visit me yeah, in Uganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will, I will come. Yeah. 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 Would you want to be a traveler? I'd love to. Actually, that has been my dream, guys. What do you love about traveling? I'm pretty stuck here. Quick for um, video. Actually, post. So, what do you love about traveling? Uh, traveling, you get to see you get to it's like adventure you mm -hmm. get to see a lot of things mm -hmm. meet new people mm -hmm. new culture you learn you get to learn a lot of things uh -huh. actually guys that's what i love about traveling uh -huh. yeah where have we ever traveled in kenya <laughs> within kenya within kenya yeah oh maybe nairobi that's nairobi. the that's the longest mm -hmm. yeah. you've never been in maybe mubasa nakuru you're doing badly, girl. You're doing badly. <laughs> but I, I'll start traveling. You yeah, start yeah, traveling. Start. So you got two invites. I've given you an invite to Eldoret, and I've given you an invite to Kampala. Kampala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what would you want to know about me? Um, what did you learn about Nyabuhansa? You staying here? Yeah. How did you feel? Like Mm. The the company around you, uh -huh. yeah, everything. So you're talking. How was it? How was Nyabuhansi in short? How was Nyabuhansi? My one one month stay in yeah, yeah, One month stay at Nyabuhansi. First of all, mm. I didn't know couriers. Uh, uh, 
are livestock farmers. Oh. I only thought cows are with us, Kalenjin <laughs> and Maasai. Yeah. I was so shocked when I came here and I found out Kuria also. They love cows. You guys oh, love so cows fun. there. And given that it's at the border, you guys also but experience. Actually, I'm not a Kuria. I'm hmm. a Luo. Yeah, yeah. Yo, are you I'm Luo? not a Kuria. Yeah, but. Yeah. Koreans, I love them, me too. Yeah. They're, yeah. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. nice people. Hey, Luo Bay. Look at that Luo Bay. <laughs> and what's a rant about Korea? <laughs> they love eating a lot of meat. The yeah. Meat. Hey, me too. Meat. Me too. I can't survive without meat. I'm a Kale. I just can't survive without meat. Mm. But Luo is fish. Fish, fish. Ah, uh, these are... Fish. Fish. <laughs> Samak. Samak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Luo people are also in Uganda. Oh. They are called Aru. They also love fish. They stay along the Lake Victoria. Oh, that's so nice. what I loved about Nyabuhanse is one thing, connection. I got a lot of friends. Yeah, and I'm not saying the people who are doing content creation, even the ones, I can say 50% of people who are doing content creation, and then those people from Nyabuhanse that are always our supporters, they watch our videos, they are not content creators. They just do other jobs, they have businesses. I, I loved that. To know that I have viewers from Nyabuhanse, hey, I made it in life. I made it in life. Nyabuhanse yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually is the best place. So then far. yeah then the weather though it was raining the first first month that i cats came it dogs. was cats and dogs big rain but the weather here is beautiful the green sceneries i can say you guys are so kind people in nyabu hanse are very very kind because also i had a problem a problem with my truck and the people that are being given contact to to, to contact the mechanics and everyone you guys are great you guys are great i didn't know and i never ever thought i'll be in korea one day so youtube brought me here yeah 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 so any other thing that i learned in about in Abuhanse, it's no longer a village these guys are lying to you it's no longer a village it's no longer a village the amount of visitors that I've seen coming in Nyabuhanse, not only at Marwa's party, I've seen a lot of Subaru cars. Hey, <laughs> I think they're coming from, even Tanzanian people are always coming, they're crossing this side to just come and have fun in Nyabuhanse. So these people, they tell you at Nyabuhanse village, they just, it's, I can't say it's 100% village, let me say it's a village that is graduating to be a city very soon. Very soon. Very soon. Nyabu, actually, Nyabu, Nyabu Hansi, it's already famous. Really. It's very and famous. Very soon, mm. there will be development. It will start, I mean, like, Everywhere. the town, it will start growing. It, not even start, it, mm. it has already started, started. growing, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know in Nyabu Hansi we have... Um, a lot of hospitals i thought that like at a village maybe they have a dispensary just a small hospital i came to discover they have a lot of hospitals uh, what else did i did i get shocked about in Abuhansi? the beautiful rocks you guys have a lot of huge rocks mm, huge huge <laughs> rocks like if you guys want some places to go and have picnics in Nyabuhanse, you just get away from Migori, Mombasa, and come just. And here is the border. If you ever wanted to just get your passport, get stamped that you crossed the border, come to Nyabuhanse, guys. Come to Nyabuhanse. And again, the rice from from, Tidare, from Tanzania. From Tanzania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, uh, what do you? How can you rate Kenyan rice and Tanzanian I, rice. I prefer Tanzanian rice. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, more, it's sweet, mm -hmm. it's delicious when you cook it, mm -hmm. and like Kenyan rice. Are you one. busting us? No, really? No, 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 no. Like I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying it out of experience because uh -huh. I've cooked Tanzanian rice uh -huh. so many times. The aroma. 
Yeah, the aroma is mm-hmm. just nice. Nice. Yeah, I love it. And talking of Tanzania, have you ever gone to Tanzania? Yeah. Even crossing the border? Yeah, I've. A mm. couple of times. So many times when shopping or shopping the market yeah 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 but just around the border ah. not not uko uko ndani <laughs> <laughs> how are tanzanian women when they are doing businesses like in the market how how are they how do you, do they take kenyans like uh, actually they are friendly people mm-hmm. and they are, they have a lot of respect mm-hmm. actually and like kenyan <laughs> no, that is i'm not saying like kenya is bad <laughs> but yeah, yeah. uh-huh Tanzanians you know like they are known to be any they are always so respectful humble. Yeah, and humble and Kenyans are rough that's to say the truth Kenyans we are rough people <laughs> like if you show us a lot of mercy we are like <laughs> do I deserve that why are you mm-hmm. telling me tafadhali like in Uganda say they like, use so many respectful words, words. yeah like tafadhali say meaning mm-hmm. please yeah, yeah. requesting yeah, 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 yeah. Naomba, in Kenya, naomba yeah. nikusalamie. In Kenya we don't have that. We don't have that. And again they I hear there are some time they can kneel to their elders. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do? Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. But, but nowadays I think nowadays not read that common and like yeah. before. Ah. You as a Kenya, if somebody told you to kneel while saying hello to them, <laughs> would you do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. You but, would? Yeah, but it's not that common. I would be like, why are you telling me to kneel down there? Like, it's not common here in Kenya, but in Tanzania, mm-hmm. it's... To say the truth, I can't. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't come for me in the comment section. I think the most vulnerable thing you can do is kneel to God. Like you, when you're praying in church. In Uganda also they, they, they have that respect part of their culture. When they are serving their elders, more so, not so much in the city, but also in some semi-city. Yeah? Hey, hold for me here, yeah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Oh guys, we are using a stick to, to record this. <clears throat> so in Uganda also they, they show that kind of respect and I am not taking it badly. It's the culture that, that they have grown up with. So even us as Kenya, it, there is how we have grown up not doing something. So starting to do them when we are very old. <laughs> It becomes a a little difficult. It will be very, very, very difficult. It will be very, very, very difficult. Uh So, Mm -hmm. Masi, actually, you already invited me at Kampala. How is life in Kampala? Because, Mm -hmm. like, I want to come when Mm -hmm. I've already known Mm -hmm. what I'm coming to deal with. You see? Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe Martin. you give me a hit I give if I hit. come to Kampala. So, so that you don't get frustrated yeah. uh, like that. So, in Uganda, one thing I would want to tell you is our money. Uh, money in Uganda. Just to know, if you, you, you will come to Uganda with 30,000, 30, 30, yeah. you will be a millionaire. Have you ever held a, mil, a million children in your life? So you will be a millionaire. So you're trying to say like, the currency of Kenyan money is high. Yeah, ah. uh, our currency is high. So one shil- when I went to work in Uganda, oh. one shilling of Kenya was 33 shillings of Uganda. Ah, wow, wow. So that will be like 1.3. But right now it has come down. It, has, it is at 23.8. So already you there, there, mm-hmm. 1 million. You there, you oh, 30,000. Yeah. Oh, okay. That that's, will be a culture very, shock. That's really nice. It will be a culture shock to you, yeah. I know. Yeah. So the problem will be like yeah. the first week trying to change the money and trying to to change. Like if I'm buying a banana at three thousand, you will be shocked. Like I'm buying know. banana at three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so like, mm-hmm. what's the highest amount in Uganda? Like here in, in Kenya, our highest money is one thousand. Yeah. Our, Highest note is one thousand. In Uganda, their their highest note is fifty thousand. Can you imagine? In one note. Wow. Yeah. 
most it's almost like Tanzania but also Tanzania currency is a little bit higher than Uganda then a lot of expect to eat a lot of matoke do you love banana yeah yeah that's actually my favorite whoa matoke is always my favorite not that big it, it in real life matoke real life. i love matoke yeah, you love yeah. matoke i don't like bananas <laughs> unless they are ripe unless they are ripe oh uh, uh, a minute got distracted a little bit but we are back so i was telling you said at least up there in bananas matoke you will not feel any challenge so the other challenge will be like language barrier because you are they are the most yeah so maybe i'll get to speak with one of them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. but most of people in especially in in kampala they are baganda, baganda. Yeah, Baganda people they speak Baganda and most of Ugandan people they speak Baganda. That is Bantu. You will not hear nothing. <laughs> what about nothing. English? Do they understand yeah. English? Yeah. Ah, they will talk English, but the people there are some people who would want to bully you when they start telling you like Simanyi Luzungu. They used to tell me that and I used to wonder what are what they saying? But I came to realize they are telling me I they don't understand, understand English because they want me to speak Luganda and Luganda is very hard. Uh, but to some people, if you are a Bantu person, a Bantu speaking people, like if you are Luya, Kikuyu and you go to Uganda, you will hear what they are saying because some words are crossing each other. Cause back, you know Bantu is comes from Tan uh, South Africa all the way. There are so many Bantu. Rwanda, there's Bantu. Uganda, but there's from Bantu. my childhood, mm -hmm. I've always heard that Uganda mm -hmm. most they speak English. Yeah, that's what I've always they heard are. from my childhood. Yeah. So like mm -hmm. I thought that's the mm -hmm. the main language. Their main language. Their main language. Yes, that should be English. their main language. They speak English. Mm -hmm. But you can find people bullying you like, how come you don't know Luganda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they speak a lot of English. The, even in debate, you remember in high school, the people who used to win trophies are from Uganda because they are so much eloquent. Should I say eloquent in English? They speak a lot of English. But in Kenya, we have two tribes that are official, or two languages that are official. That is Swahili and English. Yeah. So you can imagine going to the market, meeting an old woman who doesn't understand English and you need to buy. It's a very big challenge. It's a big challenge. So that's when you come. Like maybe I should I'll use signs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I used to do, I used to go to the market and speak English and when they see that I'm speaking English, they assume I'm a Ugandan person, spoiled kid who has money but I don't know how. So they used to sell me things in double money. Like they, they, they can double, they, they overcharge. So when I realized, when my neighbor told me they are overcharging me, so I use my neighbor. I go with my neighbor, I give her money to go and shop for me. So that means you have to tag along a Ugandan person. I don't think if it will be that hard for me because mm. I already have Pasi here. <laughs> She'll be helping me, guys. I'll yeah. be helping you, and I have a lot of Uganda, Ugandan friends there. Yeah. So my neighbors, yeah, they always teach me. I know some. I know you have Ugandan viewers. So Jebareko Sebo, Jebareko Nyabo, yeah. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Show Miss Flay love. Yeah, share, share, share love, share love. We're in Christmas moods. Christmas. Yeah. Actually, we're remaining with. Boom, Christmas. Imagine I'll be on the road <laughs> driving alone, but, going to Eldoret. But you should have stayed. But yeah, there's some circumstances. Sadly, sadly. Sadly, my parents decided because I'm not going home, I've decided to get stuck in Yapuhansi. They decided <laughs> they are going for a family trip in Mombasa. So I'm going home just because we have some visitors that came home and they can't there's no one at home and they'll be leaving maybe second or maybe next year so i have to go there and represent my family 
that's why I'm going. But truth be told, I love Nyabu Hansen. I love Nyabu Hansen. I love Nyabu Hansen. <laughs> I got so many friends in Nyabu Hansen. Watch me. Year 2024, new things coming. I might be relocating to Nyabu Hansen. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Maybe I buy nice. a land. <laughs> I don't know. I can buy a land. I would want to invest here because yeah. I've seen a lot of potential. And how about Uganda? So you'll be leaving your work? Oh, guys, I'm in Uganda because of working. But if I'm being told to settle in Uganda, no. I well, love my country that bad. I want to be in Kenya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nyabu Hansi is it's the best place to be. Actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the reason why I'm telling you guys I might invest in Nyabu Hansi is got distracted again. We are sitting outside, outside the, the gate. So I was saying, passing, passing. yeah. So I'm saying the reason why I would want to invest in Nyabu Hansi. The land that I'm seeing here being sold one million in Eldoret is three million. Ah, yeah, on a highway. The land here is very cheap. Very cheap. Yeah, and I've seen also because of the equator. The equator is passing around Nyabuhansi, like almost Tanzania and there. So the climate for farming. I think I would really want to come here and you know Kalinjin we love farming. I would really want to come and buy a big land, maybe invest in farming. Do you love farming? Yeah, I love farming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I saw you plucking some veggies. <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason why Actually, I would really I'll want be to doing invest. Actually, I a video mm -hmm. of going to big. Yeah. So what do we call it? Farming. Farming. Hey, you look like a slave queen. Can you hold a jambe? <laughs> That's how I was raised, guys. That's how I was raised. Really? I used to go to Shamba at 7 p.m. 7 a.m. in the morning. In the morning? Yeah, until maybe 10, mm -hmm. 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. I'm done I'm going back home. Wow, mm. guys, are you getting surprised the way I'm getting surprised? I thought this is a That's town girl. We were raised. I, I was thought raised. you were a town yeah, girl. No, no, no. no. <laughs> She's Family. not a town girl. Yeah, a town I was girl. wrong. Village girl, actually. Village girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, me? Sorry. Uh, guys, uh, I can't farm. Uh, my parents were very, very strict when we were young, even though we grew up in town. But we used to stay at home from Monday to Friday because of school. And then every Friday evening, they carry us in the car. To the village. the village. We used to stay in the village from Friday, Sat Friday <coughs> evening, Saturday. We come back Sunday morning. Not unless it's a holiday, we are left to stay in town. Oh. But the other days, so you are you were like we were raised in town. Yeah, both sides, town, okay. town, and and village. But I was born in Nairobi, Harlingham. Yeah, there are yeah, hospitals. You are a town girl, actually. I'm, not, I'm I'm a town girl who is but a village girl. A village girl. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Me, I'm a village girl, mm -hmm. and from mm -hmm. I'm a village girl actually. But also, I can farm. Uh, in our farms, we use big trucks, oh, tractor. Yeah, so I can take you in a tractor and we farm ten acres. Ah. Can you do that? You said you're a kalenji. Mm -hmm. I had have kalenji and always mm. have large, mm, large lands. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We do have large land. To land, but I'm looking for my own. I don't have my land yet. And in Kalenji, Secret agenda you, next year. Grow maize or a lot of maize. We plant a lot of maize and wheat. Ngano. Yeah, ngano. And then also we do cattle farming. That's why I was surprised. I thought it's only cow belong to Kalenjin and Maasai. So couriers also. Yeah. They, 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 they mm. do have a lot of cows. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. must any be. other thing? <laughs> I can't wait for you to post your other videos. You say you're going to farm. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be coming at Nassau's place. Wow, that will be so awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see that. So, prove me wrong. I thought you were a town girl. <laughs> I'm going to prove you wrong. Me and many others. You and yeah. many others. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
so thank you so much for hosting me in your channel i'll be leaving tomorrow but now that i have the connection around here trust me you'll be seeing me one of one of one of next year yeah, secret agenda secret agenda also show us properties in you can do videos of showing us properties to buy in your mm -hmm. i know there are brokers that you know around here yeah? you go and show us this land is on sale <laughs> or this house is on sale or this this house is on rent they are looking for a tenant let's Such see videos yeah yeah they let's will be coming they will be coming yeah so guys from us to you guys we love you so 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 much continue showing us love subscribe to this channel tell a friend to tell a friend we are road to five thousand five thousand yeah Ah, we were told my ma by Maro to say road to success. Wow. <laughs> yeah, road to success, road guys. To success. <laughs> road to success. Team Maro here. Yeah, team play. Kindly subscribe. And like. Like, like, like and like, share like. the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And give us idea of other videos that you want to see on this channel. Yeah. Let's support Miss Play. Yeah. So from us to you, let's say. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to comment down below yeah. and tell us, please tell us what you think yeah. about the video. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.